Hi. So this is Algebra Foundations 2. We are splitting 8.1 into two days. And so um, this is now the second day where I am talking about a negative parabola. All the parabolas yesterday had a positive number in front of the A, in front of the X squared. The A was positive. Today, my A will be a negative. So, example three says, how does the sign of A affect the graph? Well, let's draw little pictures. If I have Y equals negative X squared, that's going to be a graph that looks like this. Downward parabola. Remember, I can use y equals or I can use f of x equals. If a positive a is upward, so normal y equals or f of x <clears throat> equals positive x squared, that's up, upward. If a graph faces upward, like we talked about yesterday, it has a minimum point. See, it bottoms out. See, it has a low point. That's a minimum. Do you guys know that minimum means like a low something? When a graph is y equals negative x squared, it faces downward. If there's a negative sign right after the equal sign, it's going to face downward. This has a maximum. Because it has this high point, the parabola has this high arch that tops out. This top point, nothing is higher. This is called a maximum point. This is a minimum, low minimum for a positive x squared. A maximum is when I have a downward facing parabola. Negative x squared. So today what we're going to do is all the math is the same. We're still plotting tables of values. This top graph right here is f of x equals x squared. This bottom graph is f of x equals negative x squared. Okay, so now let's do this. Graph f of x equals negative 2x squared. So my parent function of negative x squared, this one, it looks like this. So here's my parent function right here. On homework tonight, you're going to graph the parent function as well. Negative 2 times negative 3 squared. So the downward would be, well, this number is going to be way too high, but anyways, it's going to be negative 18. Negative 2 times negative 2 squared. Negative 2 times 4, negative 8. Or actually, I'm just doing the parent function, aren't I? Sorry, guys. The 2 is going to be in the next table of values. Just um, negative x squared. Sorry, guys. Negative 9, negative 4. Negative, negative 1 squared, negative 1, negative 1, negative x squared. So I'm putting a negative sign in front. Negative 3 squared. 
So that's the parent function for a downward facing. I don't have enough space in my graph for nine, but I can do the fours. So, negative two, negative four. Negative one, negative one. One, negative one. Two, negative four. So this parabola, negative x squared, is downward facing. It's the same order pairs, but just flipped across the x-axis, reflected across the x-axis. Okay, now let's do the negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2 squared. Negative 2 times 4. Negative 8. This is going to be stretched by 3, but facing, oh, stretched by 2, but facing downward because it's negative. The negative sign means it faces downward. The two means it's stretched. All right. So... Now I'm going to plug in negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 squared. Negative 2 times 1. Negative 2. Zero. Negative 2 times 0 squared is just 0. Negative 2 times 1 squared is just negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 squared, just plugging in, is what? You guys tell me. Negative 8. So again, you know, if you want to do two colors, great. All right, let's plot them. Negative two, negative eight. Two to the left, eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe I should move that. Negative one, negative two. One to the left, two down. Zero, zero. Is this easy for you guys? What do you think? Easy or hard? Oh, good. One to the right, two down. Two to the right, eight down.
Make it curvy. Do not make it a V shaped. Make it curvy. So we had just the practice. The only thing different with today is that I'm giving you a negative sign. So that means that every single graph must face downward. Yeah. Questions 2, 4, 6, and 8 are all negatives. Yeah. They must face downward. You need to graph the parent function and the graph. So I'll stop the video. Here's what the homework is. 2, 4, 6, and 8. 